Welcome to another iBeacon demo. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the hardware aspects of beacons and what an iBeacon uh, really is. iBeacon is a Bluetooth low energy chip um, and these Bluetooth low energy chips um, fundamentally um, are advertising information. They're advertising information um, to your apps that you know may be monitoring for you know specific beacons. And, and an Apple beacon will, iBeacon, will be mon uh, advertising things like your uh, a unique identifying number, which is a long character string, as well as a major value and a minor value. And those major and minor values can go up to 1 to 65,000 um, uh, integers. So um, an app that is um, looking for beacons or monitoring various beacons can be monitoring beacons um, that are uh, 65,000 times 65,000 times up to 20 UUIDs. So that is a considerable number of beacons for an app to be able to monitor. Now, beacons themselves uh, are special in the sense um, that an Apple iBeacon is special in the sense that in addition to the unique identifier and the major and minor value, Apple is projecting an advertisement wrapper. That's a specific set of characters uh, that identify iBeacons. And Apple hasn't released their iBeacon um, wrapper specification officially yet, but by packet sniffing, it's been able to be determined what that wrapper in fact is, so that we're able to mimic um, what Apple will be using um, for ultimately uh, iBeacons when it rolls out in a much, much bigger way. Now, what we're seeing here are a couple other um, examples. These are, you know, Bluetooth low energy chips. They could be uh, con configured or programmed as uh, iBeacons. And um, in this particular case, this is a, a Bluetooth low energy chip that is run on a regular battery. Um, this little bit right here is a, a debugger that you can hook up to a PC and you can flash onto uh, your beacon chip information on change the firmware so that it can act like an iBeacon. Uh, some of these other chips like here are what we call system on a chip. Um, they are a beacon uh, uh, chip as well, a Bluetooth low energy chip, but also have things like accelerometers and temperature sensors and things like that. And we've been testing a number of these kinds of examples. We've been running different scenarios um, and, uh, you know, we've been testing a number of different types of beacons. In particularly, we've, we've settled on and we've liked the performance from these particular beacons right here. These are currently prototype beacons. They'll be uh, circular when they're finished um, um, in production, but uh, we've gotten very good performance from these particular beacons, and we'll be rolling these out in a uh, project and selling these as well uh, uh, for... Um, for consumption for um, iBeacon solutions, whether they be advertising or education or uh, transaction. Now, beacons themselves, while you see these uh, low Bluetooth energy chips that can be tucked away and hidden, um, can also be your uh, apps or your, your, your phones or your iPads. So 4S, 5, 5S, uh, your iPad 3, your iPad Air, your iPad Mini, these can all project as if they're beacons in addition to potentially having apps on them that are monitoring or looking for beacons. So beacons themselves, um, as we're going to um, see in the future, are going to be look similar to these. They're just Bluetooth low energy chips run by a coin operated battery. But you can also have beacons that may be coming off of apps or iPads as well. Uh, and I hope this helps um, clear um, some things up for folks that are wondering what beacons, in fact, are. Um, there are some important considerations when um, selecting beacons and evaluating beacons in terms of battery life, in terms of broadcast rate, in terms of interference. Um, and, uh, again, we've settled on these. We like these the best. And we'll be uh, rolling these out in a project here in the not-too-distant future. Uh, hope you enjoyed our presentation, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line 
at www.westcompass.com, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.